Good morning, students. Today we will be studying uh, some questions of time development. So let's get started. So now let's start with the first question that says find the future value of rupees one lakh for fifteen years. When the current five year rate is given six percent, the next five year rate is given six point five, and the third five year period rate is given seven point five percent. So we have the present value here. Yes. We have the years and we also have the rates. So it's very easy for us to find the future value. Future value is equal to just put the formula present value 1 plus r to the power what? n. Yes. See, but the here the rate keep on changing for every 5 years. So the formula will be remaining same. What will we be doing? We will be taking this present value for one time only. It is 1 lakh. Yes. See here. 1 lakh. Yes. Then we will be changing, keep on changing the rates. That is 1.06 for 5 years to the power 5. Then 1.065 for 5 years again. Then again 7.5% for 5 years. And for doing this, if we use a scientific calculator, it is very easy for us. 1.06 to the power 5. But if you don't have a scientific calculator, you just have the normal calculator, calculator which we use. Then what you can do, we have a trick here. How you will be finding? Just put in your calculator 1.06, okay, into, then keep on pressing this equal to sign. How much time you will be pressing? For four times, okay. You see, you will be getting your answer this much, 1.3382. And in the side of the calculator, you will be saying in this side, like, this is the calculator here, answers will be there. On this side you can see, there will be n, this formula you keep remember, it will be n plus 2. That means, how, what will be, it will be showing? It will be showing 7 here. Like 5 times we have had, done the calculation, plus 2 it becomes and it shows 7. Okay? I hope you have, uh, it is clear to you all. Yes? Okay. So, and also we can use what if you are being, being given the table in your exam then you can use a table also that if table has been given is very easy for you like see here the six percent yes six percent for five years that means for five years we will be seeing six percent value yes six percent value that is 1.3382 yes when we use the table it's very easy for us but if you're not being given the table then you can use this uh, this way you can do the calculation and for finding the this 1.06 value for 5 years or whatever years it, it, it has been given then you can find it up very easily with your normal calculator also just remember find, put the value 1.06 or whatever rate it has been given multiply equal to sign equal to sign you will have to keep on pressing till you get the required number of years yes and this formula also keep a remember this is n plus 2. When we need to find the future value, this is the formula, okay? And okay, and now I will be saying how we will be finding the present value, like when we divide, right? For finding the present value rate, what we will be doing? We will be dividing like 1.06, okay? 1.06 divided, divided by then equal to sign. And why we are dividing, I think you all know, because what we do to find the present value, future value divided by 1.06 to the power n. Yes, so that's why we in calculator will be pressing this uh, divided, we will be using this divide sign, then equal to equal to for how many years you want to find. Yes, I think it's clear. So now let's move to the next question. See, in this question, how many years will it take for $1,000 to grow to $5,000 if it is invested in an account with an annual interest rate of 8%? That means we are even given the rate, we are given, given the present value and we also have the future value. But what we don't have, we don't have the and here. Yes, we need to find the and. So, we know that we will be using here the table. Okay, tables will be used. Like, 
see we know uh, to find the future value from the present value we use cbf table or cbaf if that is annuity yes if we have the annuity num annuity value then we will be using cbaf here we will be using cbf because we only have a single value here yes so our formula is like present value into the cbaf cbf of 8% for annuals here for uh, we know the future value we will be putting the future value yes then present value we know 1000 into 8 percent that is 1 point uh, sorry 1 0.08 it will be for how many years for annuals we don't know the annual yes this is this means it is 8 percent yes this means it is 8 percent so when we bring this 1000 this side it becomes 5 5000 divided by 1000 1, it becomes 5 5000 sorry 5 of 8% for annuals so we will be seeing the cvf table here for 8 8% 8% see look in here 8% see a nearby value where we can see that we are getting 5 or we are getting 4.99 or 4.87 then we can accept that year as our time period okay see here this one the two three four yeah here we are getting 5.0338 that means it is nearby to 5 yes so we will be taking the period as 20 that means 8% for how many years? 21 years. Then we will get 5000 rupees if we invest 1000 rupees. Okay. So here our answer is 21. And is equal to 21. It's very easy. Okay. I hope it is clear. And yes, uh, the trick I gave you to find uh, this one rates for so 10 years or 15 years it will not be um, used in your mobile phone don't try in your mobile phone the answer will, you will not get your answer okay let us see this question if you wish to accumulate one lakh in five years that means we have been given the future value here future value and also n how much must you deposit today? That means they want us to find the present value that pays you off annual interest rate of 13% with semi annual compounding interest. Here, that means we will be getting interest for in semi annual basis. It means two times we will be getting six months, six months. If it says quarterly, it would be four. If it says weekly, it would be 52. And it is denoted by T in our formula. Okay. So let us see what's the formula. It's saying what it says to find the present value. What we will be using the formula? Future value divided by 1 plus R. Here we have been saying that interest is given semi annual. That means we will be using T here, times here. Okay, divided by T to the power N into T. So this is the formula. Now let us find this R value first. What we will be doing? So, what is the formula? R by T. Yes, R percent. What is the percent? 13 percent divided by T. T is our 2. So, what we get? 6.5 percent. So, what we will be putting here? As it is percent, so what is our value? Final value is 0 0.065. Yes, it is clear. So now put this part in the here. Future value is how much? 1 lakh. We need to find the present value. So R by T how much we got? 0 0.065. To the power how much it will be? N into T. N is 5. And T is how much? T is 2. Yes. So find the amount with your calculator. How much will be? 1.065 1.065 to 
to the power it will be 5 to 10. Yes, find this value in your calculator and you will be getting how much? 1 lakh divided by it is 1 point sorry 1.87713 okay so when we divide this amount we get 5.3272 point something will be getting you can write or you may not write it's your wish okay so we have got 5 lakh 3000 sorry 53,207 Yes. So this is our answer. I hope you all have understood it. And please submit your assignment. Thank you.